back to the vlog. This time, we're in Mexico. I'm headed to Cancun for two days, followed by four days in the capital, Mexico City. But first, let's make our way to the Yucatan Peninsula for the resort town of Cancun. In part one, I'll be showing you the scope of our stay over a course of three nights and four days. If you're a Priority Pass member, hit the Wingtips Lounge at Terminal 4 of JFK Airport. The selection is thorough with lots of beverages and even some hot food. We are staying at the Hotel Hyatt Ziva. It's an all-inclusive resort, so that means all of our food and standard booths are included with our entire experience here. We had access to the club lounge, which gains you some amenities such as a pool table, bar, and a small dining area. Staffed with a server. Well, they're working hard to get that upgrade. First margaritas. Oh no, first pina coladas. We lucked out and got an upgrade to a suite in the club tower. Let's go check it out. Hey, welcome to the Hyatt Ziva. We got the oceanfront uh, club space suite today. We do a room tour. In here is a half bathroom where Z is. We can cut away. And then we have our living space. Big. Oh, and then we have the primary bedroom in here with its own individual bathroom. We got the sink. We got this wonderful walk in shower and an individual toilet. All right, come on in. This is our living space with the little dining area, which is kind of cute. In there. Snacks. Ice. Oh, well, let's see if there's anything there. <gasps> Fully stocked with water and other stuff that we're probably not going to touch. And we got the living space with a big sectional couch and a big screen TV. Shall we go outside to the balcony? Look at this view. This is called Cancun view right there. Okay, with this room includes a really big spacious jacuzzi which we'll probably end up using tonight. We probably fit like four to five people in here which is fun. Okay. So after checking in and grabbing a bite to eat lunch we decided to come straight to the pool and relax. It's really beautiful out. It's about 70 80 degrees and the sun is still bright coming out. Let's take a look at the resort. It's situated in a unique position on the corner with beaches on two sides. There's three main buildings connected with multiple pools, including cabanas and a swim up bar speckled around the resort. There are seven restaurants, including a buffet.
there's coffee, dessert shops, bars, and lounges. There's even retail, a spa, and a gym. Kind of excited to work out here. There's plenty of space for mats, there's plenty of cardio machines, and lots of free weights. I'm all about it. Work out tomorrow. And the turquoise tower, just for adults only. So one of the problems I would say about an all-inclusive resort such as this is because it's so large, I don't think we're going to leave the resort at all. Another beach day with the boys. At the beach, and made my sand castle. It's hot. It's so in such a nice sunny beach. The sand is so fine. It's actually okay. perfect for a sand castle building. Anyways, the water is cool and crisp and super clear. And it's right in front of our hotel, this little beach, so. Kayaks are available for use. Posted throughout the hotel are a list of activities and entertainment. We're about to do a water gym class. Don't know what that means. We just finished our water um, aerobics class. It was a lot of fun. A lot of people fell, including me. Very entertaining. <laughs> Paul and I are headed to a tomahawk tasting. It's free. What's tomahawk tasting? And each night, there's a show for all the guests. It's pretty casual, just show up. Fun little half hour, 45 minute activity. We only saw 20 minutes of it. So. <laughs> All right, fine. We're gonna go back to our room. It's Easter now. What did you guys think of the show? Uh, I think it was, I think it was very um, nice. It was entertaining. It was very entertaining, <laughs> and they did a great job considering the budget. What budget? No budget. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was pretty. That was better than what I was expecting, and the guys. We did it, seemed to put a lot of effort in. There's these cool fire pits around the beach on the property, <laughs> and so we decided to go and jump and grab one to end the night. 
Interested in seeing the immense food options at Hotel Hyatt Ziva? Come back for part two in the next episode. Hey Pete. Yes. Can you say this to me? Hola. Hola. <laughs> oh, it doesn't show on the camera as much. <laughs> With the kitchen. It's not a kitchen. I mean, that's kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> so we got a little kitchenette here. Not a kitchenette. Go back. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> this is Paul has to go back from the Paul has to go through again? I'm done! Cut! I had a no one to say. And then, and then try to pose. Here's my look. Try to pose. I'm spreading your legs so much. Oh, put them back in. Put them back in in the bow. <laughs> oh, you don't show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you love everything about forever. <laughs> 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 oh, stop the bike. <laughs> <laughs>